Supercross 25 needs to be good, my dudes. I don't know what they're going to do with Supercross 25. You know, they claim it's a whole new engine, all new engine. It's unreal, bro. It's unreal 69. You know, they're claiming all these things as they've been doing from the very beginning with the very first Supercross game, okay, and also Supercross Sooks, 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 okay, you know, this is standard procedure for them to claim that it's going to be the best, downright, most amazing, next level, most realistic dirt bike gaming experience out there, okay, <laughs> kind of funny milestone being the one to, uh, you know, make those kind of claims, but graphically, yes, Everything else, no. You're starting to run out of opportunities. You're starting to run out of options here. You're starting to get to that point where, you know, I just feel like your fans are not going to buy the next one. And the only reason they're really thinking about buying Supercross 25 is because you haven't released a Supercross game in a couple of years which is a bit of a different vibe than when you were releasing one every year. Okay, so... But if it wasn't for that, you'd have a really hard time selling if you would have made a Supercross 7 right after Supercross 6, like the very next year. I promise you would have had a very hard time getting the same sales on a Supercross 7 that you did like Supercross 1, 2, and 3. And I think Milestone knew that. Maybe that's sort of the whole reason why they took a little break you know, kind of change the name around to Supercross 25, you know. All I'm saying is there's going to have to be some big changes. Supercross 25 is going to have to be... Something's going to have to wow me, bro. Like, you're going to have to show me something. It's like, holy shit. That, that wasn't in any of the other Supercross games. That's going to totally change it. You know, that's going to revolutionize the whole entire game. Like... Like uh, the Battle Royale and the Warzone shit did for Call of Duty. You, you, you're to that point now where you got to have something that's that big and that game changing for you to be able to keep making these games and keep selling these games. I'm just telling you, you can't keep going on like you were. There is no way. Milestone, you don't want to fuck this opportunity up. I don't know how many more times you can. Let's try to not make games for a couple years and then let's try to change up the naming of it a little bit and then you know you can only do that so many times call of duty is going through the same thing with the you know black ops six or nine you know modern warfare uh new version new modern warfare 2 you know modern warfare 3 uh you know the second modern warfare 1 2 and 3 you know <laughs> i mean it just gets to a point bro okay with Milestone, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for something that's actually going to fully revitalize the games to make them feel like there's something new or different. And I just don't know if they're going to be able to pull that off. I mean, maybe they'll finally have a terrain deformation system that's not just visual. I don't know. You know, I certainly wouldn't guarantee that. Um, there's got to be something new and good with that track editor. There's got to be something good in the way of actual content, like more free ride tracks. You know, there's got to be something going on there. And then the terrain deformation system, okay? And you need to speed up your gameplay a little bit from this Supercross 4, 5, 6 era. I don't know what the hell you's doing here. It reminds me of like the newer MXGP games. They are slow. They are boring. You know, you, you're going to have to... Get back to some more rhythm complexity, bigger jump vibes, like, you know, a little more skill gap, not so slow and basic and arcadey. Like, you, you're you going to have to get back to some of that, uh, some of what made, like, Supercross 2 and 3 as good as it was. That's what they're going to have to do, but also be making it something new and innovative and feeling like you're actually playing on something different, not just something better graphically, okay? But my whole point here, here is, if they come out Supercross 25, and it's basically just like you went from Supercross 5 to 6, you know, 
I just don't know how many more people you're going to keep on this buying your games train that you got going, man. They've done completely given up on the MXGP series to the point where you had to basically sell the, the license to that. You, you know, you pass that on to KT Racing, Nacon, Nacon. They can't do shit with it. I know that for show. <laughs> so... Uh, it's going to surprise me if the MXGP series can make it more than like another year or two. The actual MXGP official games with how bad that's going. But Milestone was already leading it in that direction. Milestone had already led that pony to the T. Okay, it's just, you know, Nacon, Nacon, KT Racing's one actually drinking it. Okay, but yeah, so... You know, Supercross 25, I mean, damn, we're just getting to this point, man. It's like, how many can they make? How much can they keep the fans buying it, you know? I don't know, it's getting tricky at this point. Like I say, you've went through all the numbers you can. You've done the make a game every year thing. With Supercross 25, you're a little more direct focused. You know, you don't have the MXGP games that you're working on. Uh, you've had a couple of years. I mean, if there was ever, I'm just telling some of y'all Milestone fans, you know, some of y'all Supercross official game fans, if there was ever a time when you, you were going to get like a pretty good Supercross game or the best Supercross game or something like that, this would be it. I can't imagine a time where any other opportunity where they would have more time to work on it or more focus or more i mean this is it bro this is it bro like they've got to make it happen with supercross 25 i mean it, it needs to be good it needs to be good because all your fan base is wore out we're tired of buying these games constantly you know something's got to give something's got to happen here and, of course, they are doing the actual new year of the tracks and all of that. They're going to have to do something, like, with creating more skill gap in the game, creating some cool, like, online tournaments or something where it's, you know, kind of skill gapped and separator-type vibe shit going on. And, like, they're just, I don't know, man. They're just not getting it somehow. They're just not getting it. It's like they're not capitalizing on with how many people have bought their Supercross game. They're just not keeping on playing the games. The replayability on these games is absolute trash. You know, the module-based track editor can only do so much. You know, and when they only have a the bare-bone basic minimum amount of track content you can only play a game so long like that's the reason why you've still got people playing mx simulator mx bikes reflex you know all those games online that's why you still got communities built around them things you know the pro racing going strong that's why you still have all of that because there's endless track content you know there's endless stuff to do in the game. People don't have to continue to spend $69 every single year unless you're playing MX Bikes because there is a lot of those tracks that are paid tracks. It's the one that is getting a little bit more monetized, monetary, a little bit more nickel and diming vibe type situation, but MX Simulator is still the best bang for your buck as far as long-term skill gap, difficulty, free track content, pro race series, online servers still popping off. I'm telling y'all, boys, if you really want the real shit, Sim is still, is still the one, bro. 